Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. You join us on the banks of an estate lake. It's a Sunday morning. I've been joined by Baz and we're in search of pike. Um, we've got the rods out, the rods are out now. Um, one, one on a float rod, um, two on and three on ledges, sorry. So hopefully, you know, we'll run into a pike and get a run. As I say on this place, one, one run between you is enough. It can be a, a really nice fish if you get one. So yeah, the rods are out. What we'll do now is we'll have a look at when we first arrived and then we will um, go over the setups and stuff. So yeah, rods are out and fingers crossed we both get a pike. Right, so this is first light. And as you can see today, compared to last time, we haven't got that flat calm. So we're not gonna be able to see the silvers today. One thing that puts a lot of people off coming here is the fact that you can't park near to the water. Um, basically there's a, a road that goes right through the middle. You can park up, drop your gear off, which you see me do this morning with Baz, and then you drive to drop your car off, and then you've got the probably a five or ten minute walk. So this gives a better idea of the walk. So obviously, there's the car in the distance. We spin it round, and there's the lake. That's still part of the lake there. You know, the pike could be in that bit. That's how big the water is. And there, you've got the trees. Like a deer. I've just gone behind one of them, I think. I'm sure that has. Yep, there she is. And our Baz, well, he's. I don't even think we can see him yet. He's probably in line with my finger along there. So, yeah. It's a fair walk. And one, it could be quite bad with your gear, I think. For me personally, it's all part of the trip. Um, I mean, like, it's complete bliss. There's not a person around. And you're in the middle of the Cheshire countryside. All on your own, there's deer about, which there's not been many around this bit today, there was last time and it's just a peaceful walk back back to the rods right there's the first bait going out a lamprey section loaded with oil so that's the first bait going out I've got to set the other rod up because it's still on a a float rod from yesterday but getting a bait in the water nice and early on a nice smelly bait right that's the second rod just set up and i'll quickly go over it um, my running ledger rig it's a two and a half ounce lead um a fox low resistance run ring two beads to aid separation on the cast a quick chain swivel my 18 inch wire trace and on this one I'm going to put a smelt out, loaded with oil. It's a Sunday, so both rods are going on ledges and a sit back and a bit of a chill out. Right, so Sunday morning, as I said, got the bacon on, the rods are out. We've got Baz's rod on a float rod there. My rod on a ledger. Got my other ledger rod, and then if we look there, that's Baz's rod. Also on a ledger, so four rods out, four chances. I think we've got a lamprey, a smelt, a, a trout, I think, or a, a sardine. I think Baz put on, and yeah. So hopefully, one of them decides to spring into action. As I say, one run on here is all you can ask for, one chance. So hopefully, we get a chance. So that's the setup for the day. Couple of bollies up, keep the wind off. Bit of bacon on the go. Coffee later. And if we sit down on the on the box, what a view that is. You can see all the rods. And yeah, just a case of waiting now. And hopefully Mr. Pike or Mrs. Pike is as hungry as we are for that bacon. 
So yeah, fingers crossed. So just coming up to 10 o'clock now, and it is normally quiet on here for the first bit, but there has been a change in the weather. The wind has turned completely. It was going that way down the lake. It's now going more across off our backs, which, yeah, the sky's getting a bit darker. I think we're going to have a bit of rain today. They had, they had give showers, but hopefully they are just showers and we can, you know, hunker down under the brolly for you know ride the showers out but it has gone really dark all of a sudden which you know it's good piking conditions overcast just gotta hope now that one of the rods pulls out the clip and we hear them bite alarms going because as i say we're covering all our options we've got them short and far at the end of the day with this game it all comes down to whether the pike want to play ball i don't know water this big it's very easy for the day to drift away well it's just good to be sat back chilling out having a good chat with our bars about the footy and waiting for the rods to go Right, so it's quarter to one now, we're into the afternoon, it's been quiet, um, we've not had a bleep so far, which, you know, it can happen on this place, it's not an easy water, um, loads of cloud cover as you can see, and the wind has really got up, so, yeah, just sitting back and relaxing, and on places like this, what a place to do it on, it, it's, it is one of the most chilled out places you can come to fish. Um, coming up to dinner time, I've got the kettle on. And there's no um, pot noodles today. We're on to the old super noodles with bacon and Baz has got exactly the same. So we'll see how we do with them. Got a couple of hours to go. And as I say, while the bait's in the water, there's always a chance that at any second one could pull off. But yeah, be sat in words, so I'm glad we've come. As I say, you've got to come and try. If you don't try, you're definitely not going to catch. Right, Danny's Angling Blog, taste review. And I'm going 4 out of 10. Goddamn awful. I think Baz has given him a 6, but he's a young lad, he'll eat anything. Well, they are goddamn awful. If you ever stuck in the supermarket and you haven't got any pot noodles, get a bussy. The only redeeming feature about it is it's warm. Let's get it down the hatch. Right, just been having a the wobble rod for a bit on a wobbled smelt. Just had a bang on it and the fish just dropped the bait. So I've just left it on the bottom, tightened the line up to it. Just giving it a few seconds to see if anything happens. And say it's a chance, it's a small chance, it was literally a bang and then it let go. So fingers crossed that line starts pulling off. And I say just give it a, a few minutes, not too long, and see if anything develops. But definitely a pike in the air view, which is more that's, than that's, that's happened all day. So fingers crossed, that line begins to move off and the pike takes the bait. It can't be far away from it. And such is the changing weather today. A bit of afternoon sun, the shadows are getting longer as the afternoon's going on. And just sat on the bank, hoping... Now in the last, I think, hour and a half we've got left, do we get another chance? And say, we've kind of had not all the seasons today, but we've had, you know, howling wind, you know, all really overcast, and now it's, you know, afternoon sunshine and warm on the back. And I said, the shadows are getting long, and the end of the day is coming. Right, that rod left in the edge, and there we go. Just under seven pound pike and in this pike you can see why we come here the colors on it are beautiful and yeah one pike from this place in my opinion is worth 
you know, two or three from another place. They're hard to come by. Like I say, we've had a few rods out today, and this has been, apart from that little bump, um, this has been the only proper take from four rods. So yeah, lovely mark fish. And yeah, we'll get a couple of pictures and we'll get it back. But yeah, proper made up. It's been a hard day on the bank, windy. And this is a fantastic reward for that perseverance. A lovely Estate Lake Pike. Let's get her back. There she is, rested in the net. This gin clear water, like I said on the last video. Beautiful to see. And yeah, a lovely example of a pike. The colours on them in here, it's what you come for. The beautiful fish. And that's down to obviously the gin clear water that they live in. And yeah, well worth the effort. As I say, it's not an easy water and runs don't come easy. It could well be the pike that knocked the rod before, but you, the beauty of fishing is you never know. Anyway, I'm going to give it a good rest and then we'll get it back. Right, so there's that pike, fully rested and ready to go back. I say, in this water, she won't mess about. If Baz comes in now, he'll be able to get right up to the top of her. And that is how every pike should go back. Fit and strong, big or small. The best part is seeing them going back confident like that. Right, just come underneath the body to get out of the way of the wind. Um, yeah, that pike's gone back now, as you've just seen. And that was one of them moments in piking that, that you never forget. Me, me and Baz will probably never forget. We both sat here having a brew. And as I showed on the last clip, I put the rod out just so the lime I had a drop I had a drop run like a, a take on the wobble and it spat it out straight away so I let the, the bait sink to the bottom and tightened up to it and just left it and we were sat here and I said if there's one song that we play um on the way home if we catch and I jokingly said there's only one thing that's gonna get us a take and I put the song on and obviously I can't put it on the YouTube videos for copyright but yeah we put the song on and it mustn't have got over the first sentence before the line zoomed out and was into a take. Hopefully that pike just shows why I come here over, you know, other waters that probably can produce bigger pike. Because if you get one pike from here, it's they're so nice and the colours on them in this clear water are just, they're just special fish to catch, regardless of the size. Right, so the, the video this week obviously is the winner of the competition to win the set of three pike floats. Um, best of luck to everyone who entered. Obviously, there's a couple of days still to go on that video when I'm recording this. So, yeah, in this next clip, you'll see me pick out the winner. Um, best of luck to everybody who entered. Um, it was great reading all the comments, and thank you for being so supportive. And I wish you all the best of luck in the competition. And let's see who's won in this next clip. Right, so you join me at the laptop now in the house. I've just made this week's video and the competition is just closed. So, time to pick the winner. Um, thank you to everyone who entered and all the nice comments. Um, it was great to read them all. And thank you all for commenting. Um, so, best of luck. I've been in and counted. There were 77 individual comments. Obviously, that number is including my replies. So, went through just now. There's 77 comments on the video. So I'm going to put 77 into a random number generator and it's coming up with 71. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go straight to the bottom um, and count back up. Um, so um, 77, 76, 75, um, 74, 73, 72 and 71. Um, Adam Chumbly. Um, 
is the lucky winner. Um, if you get in touch with me on any of the social medias or the the messenger on on the YouTube, um, give me a, your name and an address to send the float to. I'll get the details of the the colour float that you wanted um, in black, and you'll get them made and get them sent out to you in the post as soon as they are made. So yeah, Adam Chumbly, congratulations, and yeah, if you get in touch, I'll get them sent out as soon as possible. Thank you everyone who entered the competition. Right, so, long walk back to the car now, and like I said earlier, got the mirror behind. I say, seems an age ago since I walked to the, the bank. Um, yeah, what a session. This place is just, for me, it's one of them places that just grabs you. You know, it's one of them places that every time you come, you catch or not, you, you leave happy. It was great to get a pike, and the circumstances it come in, we'll talk about for a long time to come. Um, yeah, when we catch, with one of us catches, we always play a song full belt in the car on the way home. Um, Phil Collins in the air tonight, or Imagine Dragons, um, Thunder, full belt, windows open, and have a good laugh. Um, so yeah, if you've got a song that you listen to after a good session, comment down below and I'll, I'll have a look at what you listen to but yeah fantastic session on the bank thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you all next time